Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models, and a very warm welcome to issue 40 of building the Batmobile, the Tumbler. Uh, this is the issue where we get to test the electronics, all the lights and flashy things and stuff. Make sure it all works. Uh, I've been looking forward to it, so hopefully you have been too. Uh, looking at Alfred first, we've done the Batmobile, now we're looking at people. We're looking at Alfred, obviously from the Dark Knight trilogy films. Turned over too many pages there, haven't I? Page four, page three. No, I haven't. That's the correct number of pages. Looking at a little bit of him in the comics, and then we get straight to it. We're going to build the uh, remote control, and then put batteries in the remote control, put batteries in the pack that we've already got all of this built up at, uh, and then we get to test it and try it all and see. Uh, so uh, lots of information on what buttons do what, and make sure it all works. So we'll work our way through all of that very 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 soon look at it. it 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 won't be laid out quite like you can see it here look it's all everywhere but yeah we'll see how it goes and then next time we get back to some more structural stuff uh the steering rack so uh yeah this is it i'd like it that's finished the electronic stuff and we can test it all out so let's let's get it together get it powered up and make sure it works Right, let's get this built first of all. It's it's a fairly standard remote control. We've got one circuit with multiple buttons on it. More buttons than we've got buttons. Interesting. They obviously decided not to bother with the bottom row of six. But there we go. So this fits into there. Uh, it locates in place over a pin there. So it's got to be where it needs to be. Uh, that then goes on the top. Again, we'll only go in one place because of that locating in place. This then snaps on that way around. And that just holds together like so. So the buttons make contact in there. Uh, and then we've got the battery that goes in there. I do have a battery. I shall install that in there. Uh, and install the other batteries into there. And then we'll get to the testing. Okay, I've had a little play, and I think I've figured out how it works, but it doesn't make much sense to me at the moment, but we'll, we'll get there. Uh, if I turn it on using the switch, we have a few things happen. Um, the lights come on, and you might not be able to hear it. You might. Uh, one of the motors, Starts running. Uh, which motor is it? Not that one, not that one. That one there. That one is just turning. Um, I'm not entirely certain which one that is, but as soon as I turned it on, that has started turning. So what I can do now, if I press the headlight button, I can turn off the headlights. That's quite easy. Um, so, uh, to stop the motor 34 from turning, press... 26. Uh, 26 is one of these, which is this one here. So when I click that, that motor, whichever one it was, that one, stops going. But a different motor does start going. Uh, I think. No, it hasn't. A different motor started going. I thought it did earlier when I started doing it. It should have started 31. Um, I think I've got all the motors are in the right places. Unless I press the button. We'll get a thing. Oh, those are going now. Let's try that again. Uh, we've still got power on because they're still working. The next one is the spotlights. They're still working. And they are actually sort of spotlighty. Uh, let's have a look. Jet boost is this button which turns on the speaker. And this blue red light, which is like the afterburner-y thing. That's that one. Uh, left and right are uh, this motor. You can see that one starts going left or right, depending on which button I push. I'm not entirely certain what that is. Um, let's have a look through. I'm just going through that. That's that, that. Left. Uh, component 19. It's just make it go left and right makes it go right. Uh, 
Press and hold the right button, activates motor two again, again. Yeah. Press the last button on the second row, row spoiler. Now this is the interesting one. This this makes things happen. Uh, spoiler button activated motor number 35, which uh, could turn either clockwise or anti-clockwise. It also does noisy things as well. So that one and that one have both started going. Um Stop it going, move the lever on 37. It's all very complicated. Uh, 35, 37 is that one. So if I press that, that hasn't done anything. Because it's the other one. If it's going clockwise, it's one. If it goes anti-clockwise, it's the other. Pressing that one stops it and makes the other one go the other way, which would have then been this one, I think. Yeah, that one does the other thing. Uh, push it a second time. Not just the spoiler, it's some sort of other sound effects as well. Uh, yeah, but the last row of buttons, we've got the cockpit, which is again another motor that starts doing things. Um, you've got the interior lights, which are a big strip, as well as these ones. That's on and off, easy light. Lights are easy. And the final one is the cannon, which I believe is just sound effects. Yes, that's just the sound effect. So the one thing I don't quite understand is the motors. Left and right motor on whatever that is adjusts whatever it is left and right. But the spoilery thing is different and it's then dependent on switches to do other things. Obviously, it depends where they're connected to, what they're con what they're doing, and everything else. But reading through the instructions a minute ago, it did seem to make sense, and it did seem to work in the intended way. So uh, I I'm fairly happy with how that's working. It's a bit strange. I've had to put it on this because it starts eating up on my my mat. But that's all doing things, and probably the right things, as far as I can tell. Um, we'll find out for sure when it all gets connected up and when the right motors go into the right places and the switches do whatever it is that the switches could be doing. But that is that. I'm happy with it. It's working, mostly. I just don't understand what it's doing, but most of it's working. I've still got that to put safely aside as well. I should keep that with that. But other than that, everything else is connected. There is still one socket that I haven't filled. Um, I can't remember where it is now. One of these is still empty, uh, unless I've got caught somewhere and unplugged, but I don't seem to have any other, you know, wires to go in, in into it. So uh, I shall double check before I put it all away for another month. But I'm pretty sure that that one is still empty. Um, actually, I'll check that now and come back and let you know. Yep, there it is. There was one and it was connected. But it obviously got disconnected at some point along the line. So I'll plug that back in there. So that's now connected up with the other ones. I shall test it again just to make sure that's working as well now. Yeah, there we go. So that's going to be sort of uh, headlights. Yes. Probably headlights one side, headlights the other side by the looks of where the wires are going. Headlights, spotlights. Motors going off wherever the motors decide to go off, but uh, other than that, it's all working. So that's it. I'll put this all away now and then uh, not use it for a little while. So thanks for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you soon. Bye bye for now. Yeah.